Today we're hearing from Switzerland's and they believe Europe's first virtual university. They offer bachelor's, master's and doctorates in business subjects, but say the usual distance learning methods, that's emailing work to students and recording lectures, is old hat. It's all live now. Well, let's meet the managing director of ABMS, the Academy of Business Management in Switzerland, Professor Habib al Suleiman. I'm Sarah Lockett. Welcome to the Business Debate. Professor Al Suleiman, Habib, uh, welcome to the London Stock Exchange Studios. Thank you. So you've taken online learning to the next level, you say. It's not just email. How engaging have you managed to make it? Yes, we are trying to escape the traditional uh, teaching online. We are doing face-to-face uh, -face education, which is done screen to screen. So the student can see his professor, discuss with his professor, uh, see his colleagues on a daily basis. It's, and they can play in video and they can do PowerPoint presentations, students can ask questions. Yes, exactly. The professor has the full methods which he can deliver in a traditional university. He is giving the traditional education but on a computer where he switch on his camera, uh, his PowerPoint presentation, slides, uh, YouTube, whatever is needed in order to deliver the high quality of education. Now there are some challenges with this. Students do need high speed internet. How do they get around that? Yes, uh, we have students today from more than 120 countries. Some countries, mainly in Africa, they have difficulties with internet. Uh, we request from the student to have one day per year good internet for the exams, and usually the student go to a five-star hotel in their country in order to do the exam. So you mentioned all these different uh, countries. Where do your students mostly come from? We have students today from all over the world, but mainly from Middle East, uh, Russian-speaking countries, Africa and UK. And which languages do you deliver the teaching in then? We teach today in four languages, English, Russian, Arabic and German. And why does it suit so many people to do an online degree? Uh, most of the students, they cannot leave their country. They have no possibility to come to Europe for three or four years in order to get a degree. So that's a good educational method in order to stay in their home country uh, if they have a job, if they cannot get a visa sometimes, and to get a European degree. Now, some people think that a completely online degree is not as good as a face-to-face -face degree. What would you say to that? Yes, uh, some of the people are afraid from unknown. That's why we have professors who are teaching in traditional universities to secure to the parents that the professor who is delivering online, he is the same professor who is giving to your kids the educational through our platforms. And you have recently partnered with two European universities. Now, what do you get out of that? What do the students get out of that? And what do they get out of that? We have actually more than 10 partner universities today. Uh, where the student can uh, say I want a joint degree or double degree with another university. We have in Latin America, we have in Africa, we have in Europe and we have in different countries. So people get their degree certificate from those universities as well as yours? Yes, in addition to ABMS degree. Now your staff are often able to work from home, so how does that keep your costs down and maybe keep the student fees down? Yes, we have professors from today from 12 countries where the professors are able to teach from their home country. That's why the fee is around 10,000 euro per year which is pretty low. Yes. And traditional business schools are always telling me that one of the main things that students get out of the whole experience is the interaction and making a network of colleagues for the rest of their lives. Do your students miss out on that? No, not really. Students are always meeting on a daily basis live. They use sometimes their Skype, WhatsApp to meet. So they know each other. When they come to the graduation ceremony, which we have every year, uh, they speak like they know each other since ages. So they greet each other, they know each other because they've been talking online. Yes. Okay, it's just another way of doing it. Now, you're not ranked yet, you say because you're such a young university, but how do the accreditation bodies view a virtual business school? Yes, we have one actually uh, the best uh, student satisfaction, which is then evaluated by three institutes, one ILM in UK, York University in Canada, and the Zurich University of Applied Science in Switzerland. So we have one the best student satisfaction. We are accredited by different organizations. We are accredited by ESIC, which is a recognized accreditation by British government. We are accredited by uh, ECBE, European Council uh, for Business Education in Belgium. And we are accredited by many other organizations, in addition to the joint degree which we offer with state universities all over the world. And do you think maybe the inspectors are less familiar with online methods, so they tend to maybe be a bit against it from yes, the beginning? we have this problem actually. Uh, with the people who are coming to evaluate our education methods and they are not able to use a smartphone. Even? Yes, that's we had the difficulties, but we were able to convince them that this is the future. All right, well on that note, thank you very much indeed for your time. Thank you. And uh, remember to join us next time when we're going to be discussing the latest developments in healthcare and also smart cities. Bye-bye for now.